Is the housing market waking up for spring? Hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty. With several months of decline in sales and values, the big question is, are we starting to see the market wake up and get back on track? Well, as I always say, after the Super Bowl every year is when we see the market start to wake up from the dormant winter months and start picking up. So let's take a look at the numbers and see what's really happening. These numbers are for Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. Now on this first chart, this shows us the inventory. And in the light green, we saw the fifth straight decline in homes for sale, going from 2,008 homes in January down to 1,690 homes for sale in February. And in the dark green, we see the sold properties, which we saw the first increase in sales in five months going from January 842 homes sold to 1,088 in February. It's definitely a great sign to see this trend upward and we're expecting it to continue. In the red is the pending sales, which continued to trend up for the second straight month, growing from 1,152 pending homes in January to 1,409 in February. This is a key indicator that buyers should be becoming more active in the market and likely relates to sellers also becoming more realistic on pricing. On this next chart, we saw price per square foot, which we saw the first increase in nine months, going from $308 per square foot in January to $314 per square foot in February. This again is a great sign and certainly indicates that the market is picking up. On this next graph, we have the list to sold ratio, which actually increased from 94% in January to 95% in February. Again, this is likely due to sellers becoming more realistic on price due to the market adjustments over the past five to six months. And down below in the orange, we see the average days on the market and it has increased by another two days from January to February, taking homes on average 56 days to sell. And on this last chart, we see months worth of inventory. This chart shows us how long it would take to sell the existing inventory, which dropped substantially from 2.4 months in January to 1.6 months in February, which we haven't seen since May of last year. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, inventory is low, but you still have a lot of options available. Sellers are more willing to negotiate and have become more realistic towards pricing. Interest rates are bouncing around, but my team has come up with some creative solutions to offset it and Many of our home buyers are taking advantage of them. And if you're a seller, well, this may not be the insane multiple offer market that we saw a couple of years ago, but still, it's a great time to sell. We're seeing extremely low inventory and an increase in sales, which results in buyers competing and values increasing. This could change as homeowners catch wind and feel more confident. So if you're planning on making a move, it might benefit you to start before the rush of sellers come into the market this spring. And we're still seeing a surplus of cash Bay Area buyers looking to relocate in the Sacramento area. So if you're considering selling, we may already have a qualified buyer that we're working with. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, please give us a call for a free strategy session. We've helped over 7,500 families over 35 years in the greater Sacramento area, and we'd love the opportunity to assist you in your real estate goals. So give us a call at 855-TOM-DAVES or go to TomDaves.com. Thanks and have a good day.